And welcome back to Talk to Me with the Coach, Mike Reed Maiden, as we're visiting with Rob Bikowiak from the Chicago White Sox. Uh, alumni of South Suburban, local guy. How does it feel to have come out of South Suburban and made it to the big leagues? Well, obviously, it's, uh, I was a White Sox fan growing up, so this is a, a dream come true to, to come back to the White Sox. You know, I mean, there's a lot of memories. I, I get to hang out with Ozzie Gee and Harold Baines, guys that I grew up watching. That's uh, you know, and that's a, that's a dream come true for a for a kid, and you know, to live that now is you know, it's hard to believe sometimes. So for our youngsters, what was that role like getting to the big leagues? First of all, getting drafted, and then making it to the big leagues. Well, it's a, it's a tough road. Obviously, it's uh, you know, obviously you have to be talented, and you have to have a lot of heart. Obviously, you have to really believe in yourself to to make it to the big leagues. It was. There was many days through the minor leagues. I played there for five years. So there was many days you thought, you know what, I should just go home and <laughs> get a real job, go back to school. I mean, you know, there's many, there's many options you think of. But, uh, you know, I mean, if you have that drive and that uh, heart, you find a way to succeed. And I was, I guess I was one of those numbers. Well, there are many youngsters out there listening in the Chicago area. What would you think was the key turning point for you getting the opportunity to be drafted and playing in the big leagues? I think it was my father. Obviously, my father was a uh, was he's my biggest role model. He's my hero. He's everything to me. He's he taught me the way, mm -hmm. the right way to play, the right way to do everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I owe everything to my father because he's he's always been there for me. So that means he got a skybox at Sox Park. <laughs> <laughs> he don't got a skybox yet. No, no, he don't got a skybox, but he's got tickets any day he needs them. Dad, you want a skybox, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dad. <laughs> so how does it feel to travel around and have all the luxuries of being in the big leagues? Well, obviously it's a it's a great thing, and being in the major leagues is you know is a dream come true, and the best place you you know you want to be. Obviously, if your dream was to play baseball, and you know, you're living the dream, playing it. So you never take that for granted, and you you work hard every day to to stay here. And I got to ask the question everybody want to know: What is Ozzy really like? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Oz, Ozzy is a, is a great guy. He's easy to be around. He's very vocal. He's very, he says what's on his mind. Mm -hmm. But as, as a person, I would rather hear the truth. And sometimes it hurts. Or sometimes maybe, maybe you or me bite their lip and don't say that. But mm -hmm. Ozzy's going to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. But he's a, you know, he's a great guy, great manager, and he's a you know, good person. Well, being in the big leagues, you get to travel a lot away from home. How tough is that on the family to be away from home? It, you know, it's gotten tougher over the last couple of years. My son's two and a half now, so he understands, you know, I'm going on the road or, you're, you know, he understands everything. He sees your suitcase come out of your house. He knows what's going on. He knows you're going away. And it, it's gotten tough and over the, tougher over the last year or two. So it's, uh, you know, it's obviously tough, but there's, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. And what was college like at South Suburban? Again, we cater to young orders and, you know, we want to get them some insights of what it's like getting up every day, playing college ball, practicing, going to class, being good students? Well, I, I can't speak for the good student <laughs> part of it, but, uh, you know, I guess uh, college, college was a lot of fun. There was a lot of good things about it, and uh, there was a lot of coaches there, Steve Rusich, uh, Jeff Strubing. There was a lot of guys that were there that, that taught you a lot of, of life things even, not even just baseball, per, you know, school, everything, even being a man, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. You, you learned a lot you know, through your coaches and through your teachers there? Well, I know having coached on a collegiate level myself and being a former major league scout, and I actually started the program over at Olive Harvey College in a conference with Kiss, Triton, and South Suburban. Okay. I got to know, what was your biggest rivalry, Kiss or Triton? Triton, Triton <laughs> by far. They, they seemed to always get the best recruits. They always had a good team every year, and you knew there were going to be a battle every single year. So Triton is everybody's rivalry. What what? One fond memory do you have of playing against Triton? I just remember losing to him in the playoffs. <laughs> that's, a, that's about the biggest fond memory for me. I, I can't remember anything personally or single it, but, uh, you know, we always lost to him in the, the regional tournament to go to the World Series. So, obviously, that was a big rivalry. And I know Steve's probably going to be watching this show when it airs, and I've known Steve for years. So, what do you want to say to Steve? Steve Richards, that is, by the way. Steve Richards. Don't be dogging me, talking bad about me. I know I haven't called you in a while, and I don't have that much time with a two-and-a-half-year-old son and a wife. We don't get much time alone. So <laughs> I owe you guys a lot. You've taught me a lot, and I will call you this year.
Well, Steve, I know I got some guys in the big leagues. They don't call me. See, they forget. <laughs> they forget about us when they get to the big oh, leagues. Steve. Yeah, I got nothing to do with that. <laughs> And you're here this weekend for the U trip to help out the kids. Tell us a little bit about your part in that. Well, I think I'm more of a meet and greet guy. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, I believe I have to talk about hitting for 40 minutes. Okay. So, I mean, it's always good to be around kids, obviously. That's, mm -hmm. you know, as a kid growing up, when you, I never was fortunate enough to meet Major League Baseball players or none of that kind of stuff. So, yeah. obviously, to come out here and be around some Major League Baseball players, some coaches, some guys that have been around the game a little bit, that's probably a big thrill. And to, if we can help them out and... Mm -hmm. If I could talk for 40 minutes and they take one minute out of it, that's a yeah. positive. And since you're going to be dealing with hitting by the time this show air, we all with so y'all won't get to run down here for the convention. But being a scout and a coach, I emphasize to kids that bat speed is what makes the ball jump off the bat. Can you just give them a 30-second inkling of what bat speed is? Whew. I mean, I guess as a hitter, I, I think about being relaxed. The more relaxed I am, the more bat speed you are. The more the quicker your wrists work, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the more relaxed I am, the more I see the ball. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's not one thing. I can talk here for three hours if you want to talk yeah, about that's stuff. that's true. <laughs> but I think relaxing and just seeing the ball is a major key in you know, bat speed and, see, and, and hitting a baseball. And how do you feel about the Cubs Sox rivalry? Now I know we just interviewed Neil Cotts and he's been traded to the Cubs. So is that gonna make that rivalry a little more competitive? Well obviously when Neil gets out there it's uh you know, obviously you wanna do the best against him and he wants to do again he wants to shut you guys down. That's uh I was never a part of it until this year and that was uh that was, I've never been a part of the playoffs, but that felt like a playoffs atmosphere being around you know, when that when them games came up you're on T V for B P there's just a lot of a lot of hype and a lot of everything and mm -hmm. You go out there trying to kick their butt, honestly, every game. Yeah. Hmm? Well, we thank you for your time. And for my audience out there, I'm going to let you all watch me take a picture with them for my scrapbook. So all you jealous folks that don't get a chance to take a picture with them, just watch this. That's for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Brad. Get out of there, kid. Go ahead and wait.